So we have a projectile motion launched at an angle of 45 degrees. As usual, we can resolve the initial velocity into its horizontal and vertical components. We'll call it ux and ui. We are told that the kinetic energy of the projectile when it was at here, when it was launched, was k. So of course we can write k as half m u square. But u is of course uh, the square root of ui square plus ux square. So I can always write u square as ux square plus ui square. Which means k is actually half ux square plus half m ui square. The trick to this question is that it was launched at an angle of 45 degrees, so ux and ui uh, are the same. Which means this term here and this term here are exactly the same. So that means that one term by itself is equal to half k. Get it? Because these two terms are exactly the same, so this must be k over 2 and this must be k over 2. Alright? So I'm going to write this thing on the side here. So we have formed this conclusion that half mux square is actually k over 2. Let's move on to solving the first part of this uh, part. So we are asked to uh, derive an expression for the ke and gpe when it's at the peak there. When the projectile is at the peak, does it have any ke? Of course it does, huh? because at the peak, even though you have no vertical component of velocity, you still have the uh, horizontal component of velocity. And because it's a projectile motion, we know that its horizontal velocity remains the same throughout. So the horizontal velocity when it's at the peak is still ux. So for this part here, we are solving for the 60 meters, right? When it's at here. So the ke we know should be equals to half m ux squared, which is k over 2, right? Half m ux squared is k over 2. And so we know the GPE is also k over 2 when it's at the top there. Reason is because total energy was k. So the sum of these two must always add up to k. When it's at the peak, its ke is left only uh, k over 2, so gp must be also k over 2. Let's move on to the second part. That's when the projectile is at the height of 8 meters. So when it's at the height of 8 meters, its gp should be half of k over 2, which is k over 4. How do we know, how do we know that? Because when it's at the height of 60 meters, its GP is k over 2. So if you are at the height of only 8 meters, you should have only half the GP. That's why at 8 meters, the GP is half of k over 2, which is k over 4. That tells us that its ke should be um, k minus k over 4, which is 3k over 4. Reason is, of course, the total energy is always k. So if your GP is k over 4, Ke must be 3k over 4 so that the total remains as k. Okay, that's all I have to say. Ta-ta!